Skeletons transmit work from muscle to environment and vice versa. For water to serve as a skeleton, work must be transmitted somehow through it. In articulated skeletons, transmission of work is through the relatively stiff materials of chitin or bone operating as cantilevers. These are solids in which stresses and strains are mechanical, tensile, compressive, and torsional. In hydrostatic skeletons, water transmits work by being confined within containers made from stiff fibers of collagen and elastic fibers such as resilin or elastin. Work can also be transmitted and stored along these fibers. Hydrostatic skeletons are made more versatile by confining the water in fiber wrappings, commonly as a helical winding. Depending upon how these fibers are wrapped, the same muscle can be used to transmit forces that either push or pull. This is much more versatile than what muscles can do in a typical articulated skeleton, which is to pull. As you watch the videos to follow, I'd like you to keep two things in mind. First, how is work transmitted in any skeletal system? What makes transmission along fibers different from those in the typical cantilever beam of an articulated joint? Second, how do fiber wrappings work with muscle to drive organs, like tentacles, that can facilitate both pulling and pushing forces?